The global life expectancy at birth was estimated to be around 72 years. However, life expectancy varies greatly depending on factors such as gender, country, and socioeconomic status. Women generally have a longer life expectancy than men, and countries with higher levels of income and better healthcare tend to have higher life expectancies. For example, in Japan, the life expectancy is around 84 years, while in Sierra Leone, it is around 54 years. It is also worth noting that life expectancy has been steadily increasing over time due to improvements in healthcare, nutrition, and living conditions. Life expectancy is a statistical measure of the average number of years that a person can expect to live, based on factors such as age, health, and lifestyle. Aging, on the other hand, is a natural biological process that involves the progressive decline of various physiological functions in the body over time. While there is no known way to completely stop the aging process, advances in medicine and healthcare can help to increase life expectancy and improve overall health and well-being in later life. For example, access to better nutrition, sanitation, and medical care can help to reduce the incidence of diseases and conditions that are associated with aging, such as heart disease, cancer, and dementia. In addition, ongoing research into the biology of aging is uncovering new insights into the molecular and cellular mechanisms that contribute to aging, and may ultimately lead to the development of interventions that can slow down or even reverse some aspects of the aging process. Overall, while it is unlikely that we will be able to completely stop aging anytime soon, ongoing efforts to improve health and increase life expectancy are helping to extend the period of life in which individuals can enjoy good health and quality of life. Aging is a complex process that involves many different mechanisms, including 1. DNA damage. As we age, our DNA accumulates damage from various sources, such as UV radiation, toxins, and errors in DNA replication. 1. This damage can lead to mutations, which can cause cellular dysfunction and ultimately contribute to aging. 2. Telomere shortening. Telomeres are protective caps on the ends of our chromosomes, which shorten with each cell division. 2. Eventually, telomeres become too short to protect the chromosome, leading to cell senescence and aging. 3. Cellular senescence. As cells accumulate damage, they can enter a state of senescence, where they stop dividing but continue to release pro-inflammatory molecules. 3. This can contribute to tissue dysfunction and age-related diseases. 4. Oxidative stress. Oxidative stress occurs when there is an imbalance between the production of reactive oxygen species, ROS, and the body's ability to neutralize them. 4. ROS can damage cellular components, leading to aging. 5. Mitochondrial dysfunction. Mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell and play a critical role in energy production. 5. As we age, mitochondrial function declines, leading to decreased energy production and increased oxidative stress. 6. Epigenetic changes. Epigenetic changes refer to modifications to DNA that can affect gene expression. 6. As we age, there are changes in DNA methylation and histone modifications, which can contribute to aging. 7. Inflammation. Chronic inflammation is a hallmark of aging and can contribute to tissue dysfunction and age-related diseases. Now let's discuss how aging interferes with the brain cells either negatively or positively. Aging can have both negative and positive effects on the brain cells, depending on various factors such as genetics, lifestyle, and environmental factors. Negative Effects 1. Reduced Cognitive Function As we age, our brain cells naturally start to decline, and this can lead to reduced cognitive function, including memory loss, slower thinking, and decreased problem-solving ability. 2. Brain Shrinkage Aging can cause a reduction in brain volume, including the size of the hippocampus, which is responsible for memory formation. 3. Increased risk of neurological disorders. Aging is a significant risk factor for several neurological disorders, including Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and dementia. 4. Decreased neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity refers to the brain's ability to change and adapt. 4. Aging can reduce neuroplasticity, making it more difficult for the brain to form new neural connections. Positive effects. 1. 
Increased wisdom. While cognitive function may decline with age, older individuals often have increased knowledge and experience, leading to greater wisdom. 2. Increased emotional regulation. Older individuals may be better equipped to regulate their emotions, leading to increased emotional stability. 3. Increased creativity. Some studies suggest that aging may lead to increased creativity due to changes in the brain's neural networks. 4. Increased knowledge consolidation. Older individuals may be better at consolidating and integrating knowledge, leading to a more comprehensive understanding of complex concepts. However, there are several lifestyle choices that individuals can make to help protect their brain cells. Here are some of the most important. 1. Exercise regularly. Exercise is important for maintaining good brain health. 1. Regular exercise can increase blood flow to the brain, improve cognitive function, and reduce the risk of cognitive decline. 2. Eat a healthy diet. A diet that is high in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats can help protect brain cells. 2. Eating a diet that is low in processed foods and sugar can also help reduce inflammation and protect brain cells. 3. Get enough sleep. Getting enough sleep is crucial for good brain health. 3. Sleep helps to consolidate memories, clear toxins from the brain, and reduce inflammation. 4. Reduce stress. Chronic stress can damage brain cells and increase the risk of cognitive decline. 4. Finding ways to reduce stress, such as meditation, yoga, or deep breathing, can help protect brain cells. 5. Stay socially active. Social interaction can help stimulate the brain and reduce the risk of cognitive decline. 5. Staying connected with friends and family, joining social clubs or groups, and participating in community events are all great ways to stay socially active. 6. Challenge your brain. Keeping the brain active and engaged can help protect brain cells. 6. Activities like reading, doing puzzles, learning a new skill or language, or playing a musical instrument can all help keep the brain healthy. By adopting these lifestyle choices, individuals can help protect their brain cells and reduce their risk of cognitive decline. Cognitive decline refers to a gradual decrease in a person's cognitive abilities, such as memory, attention, language, perception, and problem-solving skills. It is a normal part of aging, and many people experience some degree of cognitive decline as they get older. However, some medical conditions, such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and vascular dementia, can also cause significant cognitive decline. Factors that may contribute to cognitive decline include genetics, lifestyle factors such as poor diet, lack of physical exercise, chronic stress, and other medical conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, and heart disease. Treatment for cognitive decline may include lifestyle changes, such as regular exercise, a healthy diet, and brain-stimulating activities like puzzles and socializing, as well as medication in some cases. It is important to note that while cognitive decline is common in older adults, it is not always a normal part of aging. If you or a loved one is experiencing significant cognitive decline, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the underlying cause and develop a treatment plan. The question of whether aging is good or bad is subjective and can depend on a variety of factors, including individual perspectives, cultural values, and personal experiences. From a biological perspective, aging is a natural and inevitable process that leads to physiological changes in the body such as the gradual decline of organ function and an increased risk of developing age-related diseases. In this sense, one might view aging as bad because it can lead to health problems and reduced quality of life. On the other hand, many people believe that aging is a positive thing as it can bring wisdom, experience, and a greater appreciation for life. Older adults may have more free time and resources to pursue their interests and passions, and may also have a sense of purpose in mentoring younger generations. In some cultures, aging is highly respected and revered, and older adults are considered to be wise elders with valuable insights and knowledge. Ultimately, whether aging is good or bad depends on one's individual perspective and experiences. While aging can bring challenges and difficulties, it can also be a time of growth, learning, and fulfillment. Please remember to like, share and subscribe for more videos.
you can also leave a comment.